I'll go to Ravenrock, and you... You won't mention this to anyone. If you see me there, just give a nod, and I'll lend you a hand if you need it. It's... it's the least I can do. Just, uh, keep this quiet. Or, and hear me out, you can, you can help, you could help me, yes, but on the other hand, you could pay me back my 11,000 gold! Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Solsheim. For what might be the last time. You see, my quest log said to go find all the black books. Said there were seven of them to find. And by my count, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. And seven is right over there. We are done gathering the black books. And what's more, I think we're done with all the quests here on Solstime. Which means our vacation is unfortunately at an end. We need to go and deal with Mirak, confront him, say, hey, the threat of a bad Yelp review obviously isn't enough to stop you, and you're coming around, you're following me, you're stealing my souls, I'm, I'm sure you've done more to me at this point than I've done to you. You keep sending your cultures at me, cut it the crap out, all right? But first, let's go visit the the old ugly I tentacled one. Quite like that. I'm sorry. First, let's loot. Let's loot this. See what's in there. War axe, shield, potions, something good. Eh. No, re there really isn't. Take the card though. Now, let's go Still, visit huh? Hermes Mora. Did you really have to put the eyes in your statue? Is that really what you wanted? What do you want? What do you want people to remember right you for? All right, book. Not again. And I just saw a quest completed. Daedric knowledge. What? Did, what did that do? Uh, da, 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 Daedric knowledge. Hmm. I will have to go and check that out. What I do know is that it's really dark in here. You got these wandering lights going around. Hello? Three thieves. Have I read that before? I'm not sure I have. We'll read it later on. Alright, what else is here? Giant staircase up. Obvious scry. And the door pops open. All right. And we have both a seeker and a lurker. Shouldn't be a problem. We've got the good bow and the good arrows. But it's also very dark over there. All right. Yep. Okay, just a tentacle, no problem. Ignore them, keep running. And if we have do I remember you guys resist unrun unrunting force pretty well? Pretty well. Yeah, yeah, you do. That's unfortunate. All right. How do you feel about coming? Oh, I was about to say, how do you feel about coming over there and standing right on the edge? But I'm, I'm playing with my food is what I'm doing. Oh wow, you had a ton of crap on you. I will take all of that. Thank you very much. All right. Hmm. Interesting to have a light all the way over there. What are the... Oh, hi, hi, hi. How are you doing? Uh, do you want to come over here by the edge, please? Thank you. No? Okay, fine. Sword will work, I guess. You guys are no fun. Is... That can't be it. That can't be everything. Conjure Seeker, Healing Hands. Hmm. And a vessel full of books, probably. And a door is sort of gleaning. No, thank you. 
All right, where does this go then? Wait, is that, that's it? Really? Really, really? A hallway with three seekers in it is, is the entirety of this black book. I'm sure that whatever the, the whatever dark knowledge in here is surely commensurate with its difficulty in, in, in obtaining. Secret of strength, power tax costs no stamina, spells cost no magicka, let's see, wizard, warrior, thiefy? You take half damage. Well, health really isn't an issue, and neither is power tax, so I guess we'll go with the secret of arcana. Honestly, Hermanus Mora, kind of disappointed. All right. So we have Ozadol's armor. We have the seven black books. We have hopefully a way out in here, I think. Ooh, stall rim that we don't really need to mine. Is this meant to come down to be a door, maybe? Is there a, yeah, a lever, there it goes. Oh, it comes up even better. All right, up we go. And that brings us out to, oh, the main chamber again. All right, I see Relis has cleared out already. And frankly, I would too if I were him and knew that I had pissed off an angry Nord. All right. Let's see, I'm just trying to think, is there anything else we haven't done already? I've got your back. Actually, yeah, now that I think about it, there is. Because I remember looking at Glover Mallory in Raven Rock and saying, wait a minute, Glover Mallory? Like, Delvin Mallory? You said you had a brother that you left behind. Gee, I wonder if there's any relationship there. I'm gonna go ask him about that, say, hey, what gives? And, you know, just so you know, I am obviously also a Thieves Guild agent, and I, and I would never dream of working against them. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Glover, where are you? Is, is it? it? It's nighttime. I suppose that makes sense. All right, we'll, ta we'll take a nice rest and then talk to Glover. There we go. We fed, watered, we've drunk. And now it's snowing. Wonderful. And Glover is still in bed. All right, I guess we can wait for him up. What, what, what can we make while we're waiting, I guess? Stallrim Bow. Now that has potential. How does that stack up against our little... How does this act against a regular glass bow, I wonder? Still here. Well, it's got greater damage, but I think the glass bow has I better fire it. rate. So the question becomes, how does it look? Hmm. A bit of a slower draw there, compared to the glass bow. Not much, I, noticeably so, but not so much that it, it actually makes a difference, I don't think. Hmm. Hmm. It's a decent look. Honestly, I like it a lot better than the glass bow, just because you don't have that those weird... You don't have, have those weird kind of fish hooks on, on the front. Makes you, look like, makes you look like you're trying to catch someone, catch someone where, where your hands are. I don't know. We might go with that. And I just realized I am out of stall rim. And that I totally should go, I, I should totally go back and mine that. Uh, another day when, when we're not, you know, when it's not in the middle of a blizzard and it's not in the, the first thing in the morning. For now, let's just sit here, warm ourselves by the fire, facing the wrong direction. And wait for Glover to come out, alright? Alright. It's 11 o'clock. He hasn't come out yet. And it's toasty warm here. But what gives, man? Wait a minute. I've got your back. Scoot over, will you, Lydia? 
Yeah, I thought so. All right. Let me know if you see anything you like. I do see something I like. Tell me. Lover Mallory's. You've got a shadow mark by your door. First... Well, well. It's been a long time since someone from the guilds bothered to make their way out here. So tell me, how's my brother Delvin? Still spending his nights at the Ragged Flagon trying to win Vex's heart? I didn't realize he was going after Vex. Yeah, he's he's still doing that. Good to hear. Tam Layabout never even bothers to send his own flesh and blood a letter saying how he's doing. Can you imagine? Yeah, they'd have to voice some new lines. Anyway, I suppose you're looking for work. Well, I got bad news. This place is drier than a damn bone. Oh, I'll, I'll try to mask my disappointment. Nothing at all. Eager to make some coin, eh? That's the spirit. I'll tell you what. The guild's got a problem out here that I've been trying to deal with for years, but haven't been able to handle. So, what's that? Don't look at me like that. I'm all alone out here, with no one to watch my back. Oh, I feel besides, so sorry for it's you. It's really my problem anyway. I caused it. So you're incompetent, I get it. What do you do? A fellow Breton who went by the name Esmond Tyne showed up at my doorstep about a fortnight ago. Only a he fortnight? I've been here for longer than that. Like you did, and I thought he was one of us. And he stole something from you, from a thief? How embarrassing. That he did, right out from under my nose. Can you believe it? It's my own formula for improved bone mold. Took me years to perfect. And where is he now? I guess if you knew that, you wouldn't be sending me. Well, before he ran off, he was talking some nonsense about trying to fence goods to the weaklings at Castle Karstag. I told him he was crazy to even think about talking to those vicious little buggers. But he wouldn't listen. I'd bet a fat purse of coin that he's either dead or hiding out up there. Well, I guess Karstag's on the way. Moderately out of the way, but you know, not too far. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get that for you. You do that, and I'll make sure you're set up right. You won't be disappointed. Yeah, way I figure. You're a smith. You have an improved bone mold formula. It's your right to have your own stuff. Uh, yeah, we'll get that for you. That won't hurt anyone. Bring your weapons and armor to me. I'll fix it up right. All right, is there anything else we can do? No, I think it's just up to Castle Karstag. You're... You keep following me around. Go the... Go away! Um... Uh, something with the... Something with the target. Fear, yeah. Go away. Be gone! Nobody wants you! Into the... And I'm out of magicka. Okay, I guess I'm really bad at illusion, but still. Go away! All right, now I'm trying to remember where were the cave entrances. I remember we had to go to the castle itself through there if we could just jump across. But I'm not sure where in the ruins we'll find this bloody bone mold formula. Let's go up top, then go down. Still here. Now let's see, are the reeklings back yet? I'm not seeing any, which is good because that means I don't have to go in and slaughter them all again. I would just need to find this earnest fellow. Up, oh, I see him. Yep, there he is, right down to the bottom. You couldn't be up at the top, could you? Nope, you had to be downstairs. Thieves Guild variant armor. That's interesting. All right, now we could go straight back to Glover Mallory. At the same time, we... Mm, there's this other spell I want to take off. This thing that... Uh, what's his face? Neloth cast on me. And which is causing my health to go down when I'm in arm... When I'm in water or when I'm wet or when I'm in the rain. And it sucks. Let's go give that back. And let's go stock by Glover, Glover Mallory's place on the way because, hey, we, we, we might as well give this back while, while, while we're there. You know, there was a time when I would have 
never dreamed of going swimming in Arctic water. And yet here I am, in, wearing a suit of ice, running around in, in the Arctic, saying, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, swimming, no big deal, not a problem. <laughs> when did my life get like this? Also, I'm inside the ice now. Whoa. Okay. The Glover Mallory. You know, it's funny. It has been almost half a year since I played Morrowind, and yet every time I hear the music from it, it brings a smile to my face. Just going like, yep, I'm in Morrowind. It's beautiful, and I love it. All right, Glover Mallory, we got you your diagrams, and you're still in your house. Get out of here. Stop Take being a lazy bum. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. I might have it stored away. In fact, I have what you're looking for. Any luck tracking down Esmond? Yep, got him his... Yeah, he's dead. Not in my hands, just so you know. But I got the formula. I told him not to head up there. Sounds like the bloody fool got what he deserved. Here, I want you to take this key. Head inside my house and unlock the door in the basement. Help okay. Help yourself to whatever you like inside. I won't be using it anymore. What? Ow, 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 ow. What the crap? Ow, ow. Oh, holy crap. Ah! Ah! Why are you here? Where did you come from? What's going on? It's the death claws all over again. Okay. That that happened. I'm not sure why it happened, but it did. Unlock the door in the basement and help myself to whatever's in there. All right. What is down here? Well, we have a letter from Glover. It says, my dearest daughter, Sapphire. Oh, crap. Sapphire, as in the thief in Riften? Well, crap. It's with a heavy heart that I write this letter. For years, I thought about how I could tell you this, and each time I imagined it would be face to face. I'm ashamed for what I did, and I hope that someday you'll learn to forgive me. Whatever you do, don't blame Devon for any of this. He didn't know. Long after I joined the guild, I was sent to draw a caravan that was stopping at the tiny farming village not far from the border of Skyrim. When I arrived there, I was a day early and decided to sleep with the night in the part of a pig farm. I awoke the next morning when the most beautiful woman I'd ever laid eyes on walked in to do her chores. She wasn't even frightened when she saw me. And this, I think I, I think we both fall in love. I ended up living with that woman in that tiny little village for a year until she was with child. And then, like a coward... I ran away. I was a thief and I didn't want to end up a farmer. It was a terrible thing to do. I didn't have the courage to return to that village for almost 15 years. When I finally decided to visit, it was too late. It had been raided by bandits and burned to the ground. Everyone was either dead or gone, including you, my only child. Years later, when you were recruited by Brynjolf, I couldn't believe my eyes. You are a spitting image of your mother, and I knew it. it was you in, and I knew it was you in an instant. Only the gods know how you survived that attack in that village and why you followed my footsteps. But I have to assume it was meant to be. I wanted to walk right up to you and embrace you to tell you the truth, but I was still a coward. I decided to leave her instead of facing your anger. I said my, said my goodbyes to Delvin and I headed to her soul sign, as far from the truth as truth as far from the truth as I could get. I'm sorry, my daughter. I'm sorry for never being there to hold you at night or to protect you from whatever, from whatever hardships you endured. One day I hope you'll make the verdict of soul sign and visit your father. Oh well, that is really crappy, isn't it? Well, he did say help ourselves to whatever we whatever we wanted from this. And I think I might go and give that get to Sapphire. Gems. Yeah, I bet I... I bet I could. But you know what's even better, Inigo? A bit of privacy, please. Yeah! Inigo! Go. You said I could have whatever I wanted. Don't blame me that, it, that I took it. That spell looks like it'll hurt. Can I help you? Bring your weapons and armor to me. I'll fix it up right. I will after I search your thief cache, cache or whatever it is. Prime elixir of plunder and Vesuvianite. And what is in here? 
Black Guard's armor. Hello. I'll probably never use it because it's Thief's Guild armor, but hey, it's armor, right? Some money, some lockpicks. And now, if you don't mind, uh, I need to get out of here, and you're kind of in my way, so if you could move, that'd be delightful. He's like, I'm sorry, man, she deserves to know. That spell looks like it'll hurt. You'll hurt if you don't get out of my way. Thank you. Now, Inigo, I Must don't want you to carry anything, I would like to take a but I would like to, to give you, you some things. How, how would you okay. like Let us some sweet have. rolls? Oh, are you? Are you carrying something? Oh, you're carrying all the bows! I forgot about that! Yeah. Now let's try this again. How would you like to have some sweet rolls? What's next? Next is opening bag of holding, putting away all this crap, and then going to talk to Neloth and saying, What did you do to me, you absolute moron? Got your back. And also, how would you like to have some bows? You got a. All right, Neloth, let's fess up. What did you do to me? The ash from Red Mountain holds secrets. Secrets I mean to uncover. Speaking of secrets, you know your spell made me weaker when I got wet, right? Wet, you say? I suppose, yes, I can see how that would have inverted the tether. Unfortunate. Couldn't you simply avoid water? Not if I don't want to no, bathe. No, that won't do. Can't have you forgo bathing. The Ashlands can leave one a bit pungent, and it's uh, obvious you've been through them. Here, Bite me. I'll just remove it. Here's a bit of coin. Should help mitigate your inconvenience. Yes, I suppose it should. 250 gold. Wonderful. Hmm. All right. Are we done? I thought so. Yes, and not a moment too soon. Hmm. Tell you what, if I ever come back here again, just shoot me. I'll probably be happier for it. Alright. That just leaves the skull, I think. Let's head north. Let's go talk to Bira, or wh wh whatever her name is. Say we delivered it. And then go talk to Storn and say, well. I talked to Hermes Mora, and he says he's willing to help me, but only if you guys give up your secrets. Now, what is her name? Erwin? Morwen. Which, in fact, would be you, right here. Hello, Morwen. My mother was Skull, but she left the village, and I was born in Skyrim. Well, good news. Rune will agree to your quest. Your mother's grave will have her necklace. You've brought warmth to my heart, outsider. And I'm in your debt. Please That's just a necklace. This is a token of gratitude. Once again, you've proven yourself an ally to the skull. There have been many a Nordic carved helmet. Uh, sure, I guess. I will treasure it. I will treasure it for at least as long as it takes me to get to a skit, to get to a smith. All right. Deep breath, Shadwick. Time to end this. So the dragons have returned. Well, the Skull have survived worse. Yep. I have spoken to Hermaeus Mora. He says he'll, he'll help me for the secrets of the Skull. Hermaeus Mora. Old Herma Mora himself. So he is the source of Mirak's power. I could have told you that. Of course. We have many tales of Herma Mora trying to trick us into giving up our secrets to him. Coyote and Raven kind of thing, he right? comes again for what we have long kept from him. Yeah, he says he'll teach me a shout. Why do you call him Herma Mora instead of Hermaeus Mora? That is our name for him. The demon of knowledge. He has always been our enemy. Wouldn't knowledge usually be a good thing? Or is it just that he's hoarding knowledge, I wonder? What are these secrets he, he, he asked he asked for? Ah, ancient lore 
handed down from shaman to shaman since the All Maker first gave Soul's time to the Skull. How to talk to the wind, how to listen to the earth. These are our secrets. Nothing of power or mastery. Why does he want them then? We know him as Hermamora, the demon of knowledge. It is in his nature to hoard secrets to himself. Their value to him is of no consequence. The very fact that the Skull have kept knowledge from him has merely increased his desire to have it. Yeah. He says it's the only way he'll teach me the final word of the bend will shout. So it falls to me to be the one to give up the secrets to our ancient enemy. I do not know if I have the strength to face him. Well, you but could just say no. Is still corrupted. The land is still out of balance. But with the other five restored, it may be enough. I mean, you don't have to do this. Have to be. So you're going to say yes, just like that? Yes. The Skull also tell of the day when we must finally give up our secrets. When Hermamora finally wins. Well, I hope it's a good day. As shaman, it is my duty to guard these secrets, but also to decide when it is necessary to give them up. I believe that time is now. If I am wrong, may my ancestors forgive me. Give me the book. I will read it and speak to old Hermamora myself. I will make sure he lives up to his part of the bargain. All right. I hope you know what you're doing. That is my hope as well. I am trusting that you will make this sacrifice worthwhile. Father, you must not do this. That book is wrong, evil, against everything you have taught me my whole life. I must, Freya. It is the only way to free Source Time forever from Iraq's shadow. There comes a time when everything must change. Nothing that lives remains the same forever. Do not fear for me, my daughter. This is the destiny. I'm right behind you. Out for me. That is a brave you. man right there. As always, still here. I am ready for whatever the foul master of this book has in store for me. I'm right behind you. Oh, oh, what's going on? Oy! The star you put him down right now. To me. You're killing him. Put him down. This was not the deal. Uh, um, 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 quick restoration, uh, healing hands, or heal other. There we go. I mean, it, it's not going to help much considering you've got, you, you're penetrating him with tentacles. I, I that sounded dirty. Because you're dirty. Give me the word and put him down. Come on. Well, don't just stand there. Do something. You have delivered me. But you angry. This was not the deal. You wrote the word on his corpse. I give you the word of power. Get bent! You will be either a worthy opponent or his mm, successor, as the tides of fate decree. Father! What have you done? I am so sorry. Go! My father sacrificed himself so you could destroy Mirak 
and lift his master's shadow from the land. Go then, kill Mirak. Do not fail. Yeah. Yeah, I guess we have to. Do you have the book on you? Yes, yes you do. All right then. Again, I'm so sorry. Let's go deal with Mirak. Right. First things first. Unlock Bend Will. Then we go over to the book. Epistolary Act. Yeah, that's the one. And let's see. Mirak. Goodbye, you friend. might want to stand back. We will miss you, but do not worry. Rhea will all right, reach Mirak's temple, says the quest log. I think we can do that. All right, what do we have here? This would be chapter two, I imagine. Yep. Is that his temple right there, that big structure? I mean, with pentacles and a building that size, I can only come to one conclusion. Obviously, you must really love books. Another reason why we're natural enemies. Oh no, not you guys. I cannot be bothered with you guys. <gasps> Look, just just get out of here, all right? I, I don't I don't care about you guys. There we go. Problem solved. Heavy armor forging. Hey, that's one I haven't read yet. Awesome. Bell Tome Telekinesis. I don't think I know that one yet. And what are you doing floating over there? All right. Let's do this. This would be boneless limbs. Interesting. All right. And we have a vessel over here. Are we looking for more books like that, I wonder? Boneless limbs. Did I miss anything down there? You can't have to come back here, you know? No, we got the vessel, but we did miss these. Scroll of Fireball and the Guardian and the Traitor. Ah, right, let's talk about Valok and, and Mirak. All right, out we go. Ah, hello, chapter three. It's kind of weird to see how far out this extends. I mean, are these things just islands in the Sea of Apocrypha? It's kind of a scary thought, isn't it? Okay, we need to open that somehow. Hmm. I'm betting there's going to be a... Oh, hi, hi, hi. How are you doing? Here, have a pit fighter, why don't you? Have a bread. And you can have some fire! I said some fire! There we go. <laughs> Apparently I'm mildly peckish in the, in, the, in the lands of the damned. That's fun. <laughs> I'm glad I have such my priorities in such a good... In, in, in such, in such good order. Uh, what's this? Delving pincers. Is there a scry over here? No, I don't see one. Okay. You think there'd be something here? I have, I have, I have to open that door somehow. Oh, it opened automatically? Oh. Oh, that is trippy. Well, that is really weird. All right, and this gives me another scroll. Catalog of Enchantments. I think I've read that one. 
Fast Healing Poison Song, History of Raven Rock Volume 2. Don't need to, don't need to read that one. Or rather, I know where I can get another one that isn't in the giant fog of tentacles. I wonder what this does. Is it that door over there, maybe? Nope, the door over there. All right. Okay, just don't look down, and more, most importantly, don't fall down, because then you have to come back up. I mean, I won't die, but it'll be annoying. Huh. You know, I just realized Inigo and Brad, Inigo and Lydia never follow me through here. Which, I guess, makes sense, and I really, wouldn't really want them there. It, it feels like I'd get Inigo's fur all soggy, and that'd be, that'd be a terrible thing. Okay, we'll open the pot here. What's in here? Joy of joys! It's books! Yay, books. Yep, frying orbs. And did that door just open, I think? Yeah, I think it did. Alright, where does this go, then? Hmm. I'm betting there's gonna be some seekers popping out in here, won't there? To chapter four. It's a nice balcony, though. I was gonna say, don't put your weapon away. I'm, I'm gonna be. Oh, hi! I was gonna say, there's gotta be something out here that hurts. See? Yep, yes, there is. Right there. Well done, Brad. And is there another one somewhere? Yes, yes, there is. Brad. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> Deal with them. Have fun. Ah, <sighs> okay. That's the way we came in. All right. What exactly is down here? I wonder. Besides, so probably giant tentacles and a lurker or something like that. Yep. Here we are. Oh, it is dark. Excuse me. Alright, what do we have in here? Besides potions, potions are always useful. Hmm. It's amazing here. Whoa, 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 what? Oh. Whoa, what the. Um, what the crap? What crap was that? Oh, oh, okay, okay, get out of here. Out of, the, out of here. Okay, that's bizarre. Is that both ways we came? Oh, hi. You've killed my brad. How dare you. We just came in here, didn't we? I could have sworn that, that this stuff wasn't here before. Okay. Yeah, this is changing on me. Gnashing blades. Okay. Does this change? Okay, I'm, I'm legitimately nervous right now. I can deal with things that jump out and try to kill me. But when the room... When the room changes while I loot, it bothers me. I'm sorry, no. Screw your room, screw your maze. Alright, what am I dealing with besides a, a shape-shifting room for no reason? Okay, do you, oh, hi, hi, how are you doing? Have some brads. Oh, oh. Down you go, there we go, problem solved. <laughs> All right, what is up here, I wonder? Besides, obviously, more books that I will never read. Just 
scry to open... What does this do? <sighs> what just happened? Hmm. Did a door open somewhere? I didn't see anything, did you? Okay, we're gonna go back up. We're gonna see if we can't deactivate it. See, see, see what, see what changes. Or maybe not. Oh, and I just realized it's breathing, which is a charming touch. Yes, that doesn't creep me out at all. Is it this door through here, maybe? Oh, hi. Okay. So this is weird and I don't like it. Oh, yes, that's because that's what I want to see right, right, before I, right before I have breakfast, you know? All right, what's going to leap out of here at me? I knew it! I friggin' knew it! Also, I kinda killed my brads there. Have some more brads. Yeah, this isn't working very well, but I'm gonna keep doing it because reasons. I don't think I want your loot. Wait, Circlet of Night Eye. That looks interesting. So how does that actually... Oh, right. I think we've seen this before. And decided that the, uh... What? I wore two circlets? And decided that the, the vision effect was kind of annoying, so we didn't want to do it. Okay. Okay, we'll grab all this. One of these days remains more I might stop stalking scrolls of Conjure Seeker. I'm not going to learn the spell. I'm not going to use that. I'm not going to bring in more of those things here. Ah, okay. Chapter 5. See... I was complaining earlier about having such a short dungeon for that last book, but I guess I see I I guess I see where you're going. You saved all that stuff for for this place. Oh, hi. Have more Brad, will ya? It's gone dark again. All right, got another high seeker over here. I see you. You're invisible. You can't fool me. All right, where's the last one? All right, is that everyone? Okay, I see plenty of pods, which we'll loot summarily. And one over there. We'll just go around get, getting all these, all right? I might not use them, but I'm sure the I'm sure the museum will be actually interested in them. Now then, got the tail end of that of that lovely thing over there, and four pedestals. Um. And we found four books. So let me just take a look. We got some kind of crab claws over here. We have tentacles. We have an eye. Crab, tentacles, eye, teeth. Okay. Let me just work on a theory here. Boneless limbs, delving pincers, gnashing blades, prying orbs. I'm betting that one's the eye. There we 
go. We'll place the eye on this one. Yes, prying orbs. And how glad I am to see that one covered up. And what else do we have? This would be either... Bone with is tentacles, I'm pretty sure. This is either delving pincers or gnashing blades. I'm going to go with gnashing blades, because I remember the, the saying gnashing of teeth. And delving pincers makes you think of, of claws. Okay, and this one becomes... Yeah, delving pincers. And that leaves this one as boneless limbs. Oh, what just happened? Do I earn a prize? I saw a light flash over here. Aha! Chapter 6! Right then. What do we get for our efforts? Oh, look, destruction increased to 25. I've managed to hit the what well, some people have as their baseline. Woohoo! <laughs> oh boy. This doesn't just scream, boss chamber, now does it? Hello, hello. How are you doing today? How would you feel about going away? There we go. We have a word. What word? Oh, it's on a scroll. That's actually really, really a nice touch. I like that. Worm. Dragon aspect. Dragon, 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 dragon. Okay, dragon. Use the bend will shout to tame Sarotar. I'm, I guess that wasn't what I, was I was immediately thinking, but I guess we can do that. How'd you feel about landing, will ya? Thank you. Where'd he go? Oh, crap, run! Hail, Uri. Your Thu'um has the mastery. Climb aboard, and I will carry you to Mirak. What, just like that? Really? And you're not going to say, you know, get me on board and then, I don't know, turn over midway through? Really, really? You're just gonna let me let me ride you. Okay. But if you betray me, I'm totally stabbing you in the head. Just so you know, be aware. Oh. On the one hand, I don't like this. On the other hand, so freaking cool. When riding a dragon, you can lock onto a nearby target and attack with magic. Oh, that'll be useful for me. You can also command the dragon to attack your target. Fast travel while riding the dragon by using a world map. Okay. Well, I don't have magic, now do I? Well, it's not exactly a hard thing to understand is that this guy is going to come to me. Uh, target lock. there is no prey here. Well, yes, but the prompt came on screen, so I, I figured. One or two to switch targets. And control to attack target. As you command. Oh my gosh, I have a pet dragon. I have a pet dragon. Okay, we're okay with this. Go on. Down you go. Oh come on! You, you can do the whole breath attack when I'm riding you, but not but not when you can't swoop or do anything like that. Come on, man! I know I I know you got I know you guys can do this. C can you just put me down? I'll probably be more effective. At once, the come on, just. Put me down there, please. Come on, breathe, breathe. This is taking forever. Just put me down. Oh, you're useless. As you come out, 
There we go. Yeah, put me down. Oh. Oh, you're going up there where the other dragons are. You're, you're telling me I have to fight dragon, fight dragons and Mirak at the same time? Oh, this is going to be fun, isn't it? Are you so easily swayed? No, we had to add of a shout. Not yet. We should greet our guest first. A Mirak. And so the first dragonborn meets the last dragonborn at the summit of Apocrypha. Sure do. No doubt, just as Hermaeus Mora intended. He is a fickle master, you know. Yep. But now I will be free of him. My time in Apocrypha is over. You are here in your full power, and thus subject to my full power. I don't suppose you'd ever fall prey to the idea that we should work together? You will die, and with the power No, of I don't suppose soul, you would. I will return to Soul's time and be master of my own fate once again. Yes, yes, I'm sure you will. Ah! Ow! Oh, please! Keep going! I'm sure this will work out well for you! Yeah, I'm sure he is! Oh, ow, 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 okay, stop that, stop that, stop that! Come back! Hey, 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 none, none of that, none of that! Hey, that is not fair! Ow. All right, come back. Oh, you're gonna go to the thunder again, aren't you? You're gonna do that same BS absorbing health, aren't you? Stop that. De los de do. Can I? Can I remember that? Can I remember how, how to absorb that? Ow. Seriously, we could be friends. Nope, 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 not gonna happen. No, you and I really should be friends. I wanted to, but you said no. There we go. Hey, hey, no, 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 no. Come back here. Where'd he go? Uh, I'm seeing lots of tentacles, but no- Oh, there he is! You do think to escape me, Mirak! You can oh. hide nothing from oh. me here! Oh, crap! No matter, I have found a new dragon born to serve me. No, you freaking haven't! <laughs> What, what was that? You sound like you're gargling, gargling rocks. May he be rewarded for his service, as I am. I, I ain't serving him. Mira, harbor fantasies of rebellion against me. No. That what that looks like on a human? Serve me faithfully, and you will. Continue to be richly rewarded. I know it's hard to understand for a tentacle, but again, get bent. Ooh. All right, though. What do you have on you? Card of Demons, King. Mirak, increase your magic by 115 points. Stamina goes up 150% faster. Time between shots reduced by 50%. Wearing this grants you the Dragon Priest Spirit. Ooh, spell absorption and dragon breath. More health and stamina. More health and stamina. And absorb 34% of the magic from dragon breath and spells. Ooh. 
destruction spells, 57% less, health regenerates faster, and increases armor rating by five. Oh my gosh, look at that! Like, you could wear that, be a wizard, and not have to worry about armor at all. Mirax Staff, lovely. And Mirax Swords, 178 damage. And I guarantee you, we're never going to use that. Oh, it's got a heartbeat. Okay, what do you have for me? Oh. 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 Luck picking perks. Spe oh. I can re- no, no, I didn't mean to do that! I didn't- I didn't mean to do that, dang it. I meant hit- no. Oh, that is kind of cool. I didn't have a dragon- Oh! I see! I get all the souls you stole from me! You soul-sucking git! I mean, I'm not gonna say I'm happy, but there's a certain amount of satisfaction to stealing not just the souls you stole from me, but also the soul- also your soul. You know what? I think Inigo might be right. Maybe I do have a problem with eating souls. Yeah.